Hi, Internets. Um, we're here today to talk about a new product that is going to be on the market soon. It is offered by Natural Pigments, and it will probably be known by the name of Rubless Hall Light, although they haven't completely finalized the naming of it. Um, it is also available on the market under um, the name of Essential Oil Petroleum, available by a few different brands. Dave and I have been using it for a number of years for two applications in the studio, and I'm going to demonstrate those to you right now. Um, essential oil of petroleum, or Rubisol is just another, it's, it's another petroleum distillate, which is what odorless mineral spirits is, but it's a bit weaker than odorless mineral spirits, and it evaporates somewhat slower. Um, so we don't use it to thin our paints, we don't actually use it in the act of painting. But when a painting is dry, and I'll repeat that, when the painting is dry, you can use it to saturate the surface of the painting to give you a peek at what your painting looks like. So when your painting has become sunken in and you start to doubt that it looks any good at all, you can whip out your essential oil petroleum or your rubisolite, put a bit on a makeup sponge, and saturate the surface. The second application for this stuff is to use it to photograph your work if you haven't had a chance yet to varnish your work. So this is always a good thing if you are very um, particular about waiting the specified amount of time between finishing your painting and varnishing your painting, but you would really like to have a quality picture of your painting to send to your gallery or whatnot. Uh, you just use this stuff, you apply it with a makeup sponge, and then you have about 10 or 15 minutes to take a picture of your painting. Um, I would also like to say, if you're planning on using this to take a look at your painting so that you can then do more work on your painting, wait till it evaporates because you don't want to paint into this stuff. I'm going to demonstrate how this works on another painting in case that one photographs a bit better here in the video. So these are both old paintings that have had a while to dry, so I'm not worried at all about paint coming off, but if I was, I would just look at my sponge from time to time just to make sure. Um, I often use this, this solvent on my paintings, you know, maybe a few days after the painting is dried, a week after the painting is dried. You do need to be absolutely certain the painting is dry. Um, but uh, when you're working with lead paints and umbers in your palette like I do, your paintings are typically dry very fast. Anyways. That is the product. Again, it is probably going to be known as Rubisol Light, and it's going to be available on the Natural Pigments website.